Hi guys, it's Jason here from Lowen Roads Motorhomes. We're looking at the Auto Trail Tracker LB, which is just behind me. This is a really nice fixed island bed for birth motorhome. We're going to do a little bit of a video tour for you today and show you around. So let's check it out. So this is the Auto Trail Tracker. It's a 2018 model that we've just got in stock. This is a four berth with two travel seats. We'll get on the inside, give you a little bit of a walk around and check it out. So as soon as you walk in here, you're hit with two things that Auto Trail do very well. In fact, probably better than anybody out there really, is one, your overhead storage. It wraps all the way around. I think this looks so good and it's a little bit of a trademark for Auto Trail to me. And then also this nice long skylight. And I mean, it's a nice blue sky today, but check that out. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Style and finish wise, you've got this nice beige cream stitch interior, which is edged really with some purple lining. And of course, that sort of dark gray and silver of your cupboards. Towards the back, you've got this fixed island bed. And no, it isn't always permanently up like that. It will slide out. A bit of a thoughtful design really so you can push it up so the back is higher and that'll give more space foot room to walk around each side but when it comes to the bedtime you pull it out and that'll make it bigger we're going to do that in just a, a little while but first of all let's hop onto the front we're going to look on the vehicle now it's a 2.3 litre Fiat Takato six-speed manual here 130 brake horsepower with cruise control and air conditioning. On the system just here, you've got a CD player, you've got the sat nav built in, you've got Bluetooth connectivity for your phone, so you can take phone calls and also stream your music and, and whatnot. Then this is your temperature control just here. You've got dual captain swivel seats, so they both face into the rear, and you've got a drop down TV. So this is really quite a nice feature. Your television is there, it is, a, it is Aztecs, and that can just be packed away up the top there and pulled down like that. Now, of course, that is quite a nice feature, but the glaring obvious thing is if you're one of the people sat there, you're going to be a little bit too close to the TV to watch it. It would kind of be like going to the cinema and sitting on the front row. But if you're to sit towards the back, it's perfect there, and that's all plugged into your, your satellite and everything like that. You've got the nice coffee table in the lounge. Now this does come, you can take this out. We've just got it fitted right now and it can be swiveled round like so. If you wanted to, you can pick it up, take it away and store it away. But I actually think it's quite a nice feature, which isn't too intrusive really. And I think when you was traveling, if you just popped it around the side, it's not in the way, it's not gonna interrupt anything. Now it is a four berth with two travel seats. What do I mean by that? So if people in here have seat belts, two people can pop on the front seats, but it can sleep for people, although it can't travel for people. This lounge will make a bed. Essentially, you just pull the lats out down the bottom into the middle, do that on both sides, then fold the cushions in, and that will make a double bed at the front, as well as the fixed island bed on the back. Moving on to the kitchen. You've got your nice oven, grill, three gas burners and electric hot plate, as well as an integrated microwave just up at the top. You get your sink area with a cover on the top, which will help give you a little bit more work top space. And then behind me, you've got a full length fridge and your freezer box just up at the top. Now I'm going to the bedroom. Like we've seen, it's got this nice fixed island bed. His and hers wardrobes on each side and some more locker space on the top. Now if you, you've actually got a little bit of storage underneath here, this can be picked up. And then if you wanted to, you can just slide that out and that's it just flat. Toilet and shower wise, you've got a separate toilet and shower. 
So this is your mirror and your toilet washroom just in there. And then behind me, we've got our shower unit. So that's separate toilet and shower. And what I mean by that is it's not in one continuous washroom. You know, you get the white plastic material, which makes a washroom, it's separate. It's not all in one, if that kind of makes sense. Probably didn't explain that too good, but hey ho, there we go. Now it's a nice spec vehicle. Like you said, we've got reverse camera. We've got a solar panel on this. You've got your sat nav, your fitted TV. Going along the top, it is quite, well, hidden away a little bit. That is your wind out canopy. Auto trails do that quite well. So that's popped in there. It's a good looking motorhome inside out. Size wise, you're getting a little bit on the bigger side. 7.6 meters long. And it is over your C1 license. I think this comes in at four and a quarter ton. You've got your tow bar fitted on this, good to go, as well as reverse camera and also a permanent rear view mirror. So when you're driving, you've got a monitor which you can see who's behind you and what's happening behind you. This is a 2018 model. It's here, it is available for sale at the moment. For full details, go to the description below. As always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. We've got plenty more videos because we've got plenty more motorhomes, as you can see behind, coming up real soon. Cheers, guys, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.